I'm Silvio and this is part 3 of my Christmas Village 2020 food tutorial series. I promise you that this video will be shorter, even if uh, the task I'm about to face will take me many, many hours to accomplish it. So I will probably split all the sequence in multiple videos. But I'm still not convinced that I will be able to do it or simply do it without having water leaking all over the project and everyone knows well that water and electricity doesn't go well together. I'm constantly risking a gigantic short circuit especially with all the lighted buildings I will have to place and the trucks that aren't protected against leaking water. As I said previously, I'm facing this task absolutely blindly. During the past months, I've had some ideas on how to do it and I've planned it theoretically, but I've never done any kinds of experiment on how to do it. And I still think this could be an enormous failure but I need to try to do it anyway. I've already placed some objects and tools I will use to do it, so it's time to switch to the action camera, because once again I think that those kind of projects need a first person view. All along this video you will only hear my voice and not see me, but sincerely I don't think this is a big loss for you, and uh, as always, I will see you for my final update. Let me just start by introducing you this small waterfall that I've added to my last year Christmas village. Each section is made essentially from uh, molded plastic. But uh, what is molded plastic? It is essentially represented by those small plastic granules that when immerged in hot boiling water became moldable for some minutes. Then I've sculpted it using my Dremel before for painting it several times. The secret of the waterfall is represented by a small uh, water pump that will pump up the water from the lower tank through this uh, tube and then the water will start flowing from both uh, sides here. Obviously this is a self-sustained system, you just need to refill sometimes the lower tank and the system will go over and over again. It is some sort of an ancestor of the river we are trying to make today. But uh, let's just get rid of the waterfall and let's start talking seriously. Now that the waterfall has magically disappeared, let's take a round up. Those two water pumps or aquarium pumps or fish tank pumps, if you prefer, will be the main actors in our uh, task. I know they have different sizes and it is voluntary like that and I'll explain why later. Then we'll use some flexible vinyl tube to transfer uh, the water and a couple of uh, hose clamp. Then we'll need uh, two plastic refrigerator containers also having different sizes but it is correct like uh, this. Then instead of using my hot wire cutting table I will use this old fashioned uh, soldering iron or soldering gun if you prefer. Uh, generally tips for this gun are uh, made like this and they are very well suited for electronic soldering but uh, not for styrofoam cutting or styrofoam uh, carving so I will use this uh, stainless steel uh, wire it has a, a diameter of 1.2 uh, millimeter and I will use it to make my proper uh, tips like uh, this uh, one. Uh, obviously the longer the tip the longer it will take to get out so I've uh, shaped different sizes like this one this one is uh, rounded but uh, shortened and it will take less time to become very hot and cut very easily through uh, styrofoam 
I will try it uh, quickly on this small piece of uh, styrofoam. I will switch it on, then give uh, the tip the time to get uh, uh, enough hot. Then I will start uh, uh, cutting vertically from this uh, point like this. Obviously the, po the tip is not hot enough, but it will become hotter and hotter like this. And it will soon be very easy to cut through uh, the entire piece of uh, styrofoam like this just a little more pressure and we'll be over soon like this okay here we go then I can also use uh, this tip to carve into the styrofoam or to uh, sculpt it but as you can see the tip is uh, bending easily it is obviously not uh, the good tip for this kind of for a job I will have to use this one the shorter one to get a better result I will use this technique to carve into the styrofoam and make the riverbed right here and last but not least, I will use those uh, plastic granules to mold some support uh, bracket that I will use to secure the uh, water pump to the uh, plastic container. Enough with explanations, let's get to work! Let's have a pinch of imagination and uh, let's uh, consider uh, this uh, uh, plastic container as uh, our lake. Obviously, in future it will be masked as a lake. Let's get the lake in position like uh, that and this will be uh, the collector of all the water coming down from the bad uh, river. Uh, clearly the lake will be soon full of water and the water will start leaking all over the place so I will have to use uh, this uh, pump placed it like uh, that uh, to carry the water to another destination through some flexible vinyl tube that will be connected to the pump and will follow this path to carry the water to another uh, container this one precisely and I will place this container bigger I know but it has its purpose and I will place it around this position just uh, uh, in the corner just behind uh, some walls because I will need to reach it anytime in case I need to refill uh, it with water and in future I will have to devise some sort of masking of hiding because I don't want it in plain sight so the water is now getting from the lake to the uh, vinyl tube uh, here in the this uh, other uh, container and then the water from this container will have to be used in some way it will have to be pumped up to a certain height around 25 or 30, 30 centimeters and will become some sort of uh, small waterfall uh, giving the uh, water flow the right uh, um, speed to uh, reach again the uh, lake uh, using the riverbed I will be carving uh, later logically the second pump will have to be put in this other container so let's get the second pump the bigger pump it's a 220 volt pump so it will be connected directly to the electrical sector the main job of this uh, huge pump will be raising a very big amount of uh, water uh, the container will be almost filled up with uh, water that should be pumped from level ground to an height around 30 centimeters I know what you are thinking, huge pump here, small pump down into the lake, so I will have a big imbalance of water flow, absolutely wrong.
this small pump is a beast uh, I've just uh, uh, tried it a few minutes ago in my sink because I couldn't believe all the comments I've read online and I assure you that it's very powerful but it's only 12 uh, volt so it will need to be connected to an AC adapter in order to operate correctly even if its aspiring tube is only 8 mm in diameter, it will be able to pump almost the same quantity of water as the bigger pump. The water will flow in through the, this side and will be expelled from this other side, horizontally to uh, vertically. This uh, little beast, as I've told you before, is so powerful that I need some way to uh, fix it to the lake. Uh, otherwise, if I just put it uh, right there, uh, leaving it alone, uh, the power will make it uh, bounce all over the place uh, or move around very easily. So I will need to secure it to the uh, border lake. Then I will connect uh, the vinyl tube uh, here and start uh, making uh, uh, the path for the tube to get from the pump to the main container down there. Then I will have to make uh, the uh, river bed from uh, styrofoam. Late last night, immediately after shooting the sequence you have just seen, I had a little uh, brainstorming session with myself, essentially because I was uh, feeling that something was uh, wrong, that I was uh, rushing too quickly uh, towards the task of making this river. And something was effectively uh, wrong. But uh, I started uh, by quickly drawing on some paper um, the profile of the river I intend to place uh, uh, in the village and uh, I've said also that I wanted to place uh, my lake around uh, this uh, point and I realized immediately that uh, in opposition to what I've said uh, some uh, sequence uh, ago uh, the river would have been an almost straight line, almost an highway, and nature doesn't like straight lines, doesn't like highways. Nature needs some sort of escape plan. So I've decided to uh, move a little to the right my lake and I've uh, also drawn uh, uh, the rest of uh, the uh, river plan. Let me place uh, it just like this and just uh, like this. So I think you can have a good look at it. I've added uh, two more curves in order to have uh, something more uh, natural, more uh, easily found in nature. The second and third problem I've found are strictly connected. The river needs to flow down towards the lake. The river needs to have a certain inclination. The riverbed needs to have a slope. But my styrofoam panels have just 3 cm of thickness. This means that from that point down there to this point here I have just 3 cm to carve the riverbed and give the water flow enough speed to avoid any leaking. I need to carve in 3 cm a good slope. And this is impossible. The path of the river between those two points is too long. Many sections of the path will be flat. This will cause leakings.
So I will probably need to add on top of my styrofoam base some other uh, piece of panel, some other uh, maybe uh, having a thickness of 4 centimeters. I don't know yet. I'm too shocked at the moment. But it can be done. I will certainly need to make some adjustments to my general point of view towards the uh, river because uh, those extra four centimeters of thickness uh, can cause me uh, a depth of view problem. But it's not now the time to think about it. Let's just resolve uh, one, two or three <laughs> problems at the time. Third problem. Let's measure the depth of the lake. Six centimeters. And I assure you that with this pump, six centimeters is the minimum to have the system work correctly. Even with one, or one centimeter less, five centimeters, or a wider lake, the system will not work correctly. But my styrofoam panels have still three centimeters of thickness I told you that uh, during the past months I've just uh, had uh, some ideas on how to make uh, the river and the uh, uh, lake. So now I am in some sort of troubles. I was in some sort of troubles because uh, when I have to face a problem I can't sleep. So I passed uh, uh, some hours last night to think about a solution that would uh, avoid me to redo all these uh, setups. And I come to this uh, little uh, solution. Let me do some little squat. Maybe you can see that I have added some more uh, styrofoam panels. I doubled the thickness. I've not added styrofoam panels on the, all the other styrofoam panels. To resolve my problem, last night I've uh, cut uh, 10 centimeters uh, wide pieces of uh, styrofoam from spare uh, panels I add. 10 centimeters. For example, I placed uh, one ten centimeters here, ten centimeters uh, going from one corner to the other corner. Then I had uh, some more uh, support uh, uh, right there, for example. Then I moved uh, a little bit forward and I added uh, some more support. And these all over the project without having to <laughs> to redo anything. I just uh, lifted uh, in some points uh, the panels and uh, slid under them the support uh, section. And the result is uh, not bad at all. Very, very, very stable. Uh, I can push uh, uh, with all uh, my strength and uh, it is uh, stable. It is very stable. Now that I am a little bit more relieved, uh, let's go ahead with our task. Let's start with uh, the lake. I will uh, certainly place uh, the pump around uh, this uh, position because I don't want it too close to the edge. Otherwise, it will make an awful sound because the pump is very, very powerful and... Uh, uh, the aspiration is uh, tremendous uh, and I need uh, to give uh, all the water or the flow of the water that will be aspired some space. So this is the position where uh, I should uh, position it. Let's mark it on the lake with uh, just a little point right there. I will immediately connect the vinyl uh, tube to the uh, pump uh, uh, using this uh, little 
hose clamp. Quickly done, just the tube, the <coughs> clamp in position, and the screwdriver. Okay. not too tight otherwise I will <laughs> break uh, the hose good good enough now I need to fix uh, the pump uh, to the lake I can't drill uh, a hole and have some screw in place, otherwise the lake will uh, leak. I will start by getting some water boiling, then I will uh, pour those uh, plastic uh, granules into the water for just a few seconds, 15, maybe uh, 20 seconds. Just the time for the granules to become transparent. Then I will uh, use them to mold my uh, plastic support to get uh, the pump strictly connected with the lake without using any screws or without having to drill any holes on the lake. The the plastic will be moldable for around 5 to 8 minutes so I have a good time to uh, mold my uh, super bracket but first things first I need to place the lake into its correct position so I will certainly have to make some markings on the uh, styrofoam panel then I will cut through it using my soldering uh, gun. This because I need the uh, border lake to be as uh, close as possible to uh, ground level. The lake will be positioned right there. And this will give me enough space to make some camouflage to mask in some way uh, the lake and I will also have enough space to add a fence uh, going all along the railroad. I will mark the panel using the lower uh, edge of the lake as a reference but uh, just uh, remember that uh, this side is inclined and that I have a small edge here so uh, the hole after the first uh, cutting uh, will need to be uh, adjusted a little a bit let's roll
it took me a little longer than what I thought. But I was uh, going very slowly because uh, I didn't want to ruin any of the panel. I left at some uh, m uh, space between the panel and the edge of the lake because I want it easily removable and also in the back I will need uh, some space to adjust uh, the uh, super bracket uh, uh, that I will do in just a few moments. We already said that the pump will be placed right there. It's finally time to make the plastic support bracket. I know, my uh, old uh, pot is a little uh, noisy, but using uh, this old uh, electrical heater was uh, the only way to get uh, hot water near the lake and also be able to show you the process. I will uh, pour the plastic uh, granules uh, into the uh, hot water. They will immediately turn uh, uh, transparent because now they are uh, white as you can see. Then after a few seconds I will uh, took them out of the water and I will uh, mold uh, the agglomerate with my hands. I don't want uh, these uh, a noise to be in your ear, so let's have some music. Okay, let's uh, switch off uh, the uh, water. I don't need any more heat. 
it will make some noise for some time. As you have seen, it is a very simple and quick uh, process. Now I just uh, need the plastic to cool down and once it's cooled down it will be once again white and uh, very solid, not uh, moldable anymore. 20 and 25 minutes later with some more plastic added here because I thought that having uh, a support just from one side wasn't enough and now the pump is uh, very stable in place and uh, the plastic has hardened again. It's now time to uh, get uh, the lake in place again. Let's just move the camera a little bit right there. Good. If uh, still fits uh, well uh, in the hole even with some more uh, plastic here at the edge. Now I have to carefully dig into the styrofoam the path for the tube that will need to carry the water from the lake up to the main container absolutely unseen and without any occlusions. Otherwise the system will fail tragically. I will proceed a little step by little step, starting by marking the path on the styrofoam. Then I will use my soldering gun to dig into the styrofoam. And finally, I will secure the tube into the path with the help of some metallic pins you already uh, have seen before. Let's go. difficulties watching the entire process, especially when I was working too close to the path I was digging and the shot went completely off scene. But it was the only way to work without a wide angle setup on the action camera. I am sorry for that, but I think it is important to show you some sort of final result and I can assure you that the tube will completely disappear 
underneath the surface of the styrofoam. The only tricky point will be the starting point where we have uh, um, the path shifting from a vertical path to an horizontal path and you always have to be careful not to create any occlusions here and prevent the water to flow correctly into the tube. And from the other side, the situation is almost identical, except for the tube path not yet completed, because I first need to know where the final position of the main container will be. And these all depend on the creation of a waterfall there on the left. But first, a riverbed must be created. Unexpected. This is the most appropriate word for this video. When you work on such a project and you don't settle for just some buildings sorted on a flat surface, you need to constantly face problems that need a solution because you can't guess everything from the beginning. You need to adapt, hoping that the solution won't entirely ruin the appearance of the project. And the change is clearly visible from this shot. Unfortunately for you, this video is still too long, but I feel I deserve a reward anyway because it is however half the length of the previous one. Let's see if I can improve a little more detailing the creation of the riverbed. But it's time to end this early video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English. And if you wish, see you next time.